So the area that I'm at actually here is quite uh, sketchy because we're right at the very, very edge. But we're safe enough. We're about two feet back. Oh my God, what's that smell? You know. Oh! Now what you just witnessed there was Gavin trying his best to force some food down my throat, which made me gag like no end. To watch the full story, tune in to Gavin's video where all will be revealed. But in the meantime, we are going to explore an absolutely stunning location and we get some great shots. So let's go. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Now, today you join me. I am still in the same spot that I was for yesterday, which was last week's episode. After that colossal hike, I decided just to crash out in the van. And what a spot it is for me to be able to hang out and sleep overnight. And I had a really, really good sleep as well. Now, I was looking at the stats actually from yesterday and I did 109 floors. 14,510 steps and 9.4 kilometers and it was quite tough at some areas it actually was harder getting back I think because we were probably more tired and everything else but as we did have the um, photogasm to be able to fuel us on as Gavin calls it we managed to get back up anyway and back down in one piece now I'm after having a leisurely day here and I'm now just awaiting the arrival again of Gavin and we're going to do another hike as if bad enough wasn't yesterday we're going for another hike now today so we're going to go in the opposite direction I don't know if it's as hard it looks as if it's more uh, easy going let's just say less steep but longer so we'll see how we get on i'll give you a look at the views that we're going to have along the way and hopefully uh, we survive this one and get some incredible shots like we did yesterday let's go is that an oswald in your pocket or are you just happy to see me it's definitely an oswald <laughs> As we're walking along here, we decided that we would um, come along towards the cliff to try and find a composition of this behind me here with the stacks that are below me also, before we get to the main prize. From here, it looks absolutely incredible. We're gonna continue on up here now as well. We're probably maybe, I don't know, third of the way there so far. Not as bad as it was yesterday, but yeah, I'm sure we'll have different feelings when we get to the top of this one, but nonetheless, I'm sure it will be worth it. As we're on the way up towards our main event, we decided to come across the cliffs. Like you would have seen earlier on here, the views are spectacular. Now, we are still in pretty much harsh light. It is 5.30 at the moment, so we're two and a half hours away from sunset. Still gives us plenty of time to get to where we want to go, but we decided we'd stop off here and just grab a shot, because as you can see, it is incredible. You've got all these stacks below us, all the stacks that lead off as well over in this direction over here. They are incredible now I'm just taking a standard shot nothing major not much nice light purely kind of a documentary shot as such of where we're traveling but when you are shooting with the Sun behind you you have to always be careful of your shadow and right now my shadow is below here on the cliff so if I take my shot I will be in the image so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my 10 second timer I'm gonna take a step back out let that take the shot and then when it comes to processing all I have to do is clone out the tripod which is a lot easier than just cloning out me you can do that but that's how i choose to do it anyway so i'll give you a look at the shot we have right now and we're going to continue on up and over towards the main event that we want to head for today
Right, so I'm around 45 minutes since I last checked in and what we've had now is some cloud that's coming in here and you can see it dancing across the headland on the other side. And now I've moved over further to the edge of the cliff as such because I can now see a lot down further. I'm avoiding that um, shadow as well that I would have had from the tripod. But it's also revealing a lovely beach that's below. It's a stone beach, but it's white stones. And with the waves that are coming across that as well, it is absolutely beautiful. I'm using all of this area here really to fill the composition. What I do have is a big gap and an expanse of water. So I'm taking two different types of shots. I'm taking a standard exposure and I'm probably also going to take a long exposure as well just to smooth out that water. It may or may not work out well. The light is so harsh right now but with the dappled clouds that are there I think it is going to be really really nice. Settings at the moment here I am at 1 50th of a second and my ISO is at 100 and I think you know with this whole detail in this light if the light does kick off it is going to be immense now Gavin is heading across the uh, cliff over here and he's going to head on the way down towards this area and I'll be joining him as well now shortly wanted to grab this shot and then we'll see how that turns out I'll give you a look at it now anyway while we're waiting for this light and as the clouds continue to go across the headland here and then I'll check back in again later Rather than head all the way back up to the top of the ridge and then over to where we were going to go, we decided to hang tough because we spotted there some of these sea stacks that are there that look actually really, really nice. So we scoured around the uh, cliff faces here now just to find the most optimum composition. And what I've done here is I've composed a shot behind me with these stacks leading out then as well out to here to these other stacks as well. So if I bring my hand back in here, so we go from here, down and then in between these two stacks that are here as well which I do think is going to be a nice shot I also have a bit of the beach as well that's visible below me now light is an hour and 20 minutes away until sunset so maybe around about maybe 40 minutes away until we start getting a blush of color and if we get the color here the way this is and they light up in a golden color even a red glow they're going to be stunning so I'll give you a look at the shot anyway here now I think that's my composition I think I've got it locked in I don't think I'm going to change it again but yeah I'll wait for the light show you this and I'll check back in if and when it kicks off because the sky does look like it's going to be clear for set fingers crossed While I'm also waiting, I decided to put on my polarizer and also my 10 stop to be able to smooth out that water and also remove the glare in the water below because now that I can see the beach. And I do think that that's going to be a nice shot as well. Settings now will change. I'm up as far as a 30 second exposure with both of those filters and I'm shooting at um, F13 at the moment and F11 I think it is. But either which way, it's still good to get the shots. I think it's good to take the shots while the light is there to nail in the composition and I do think that I'm happy with this composition. So 
The area that I'm at actually here is quite uh, sketchy because we're right at the very, very edge. But we're safe enough. We're about two feet back. Oh my God, what's that smell? You know. Oh! Right now, the light is just starting to kick off. You can see the sun is just starting to reach the horizon now. And behind us now, it's lighting up all of these cliffs here with a nice glow. Now, what we are missing, as you can probably see here, is nothing in the sky. So I don't know if there's gonna be much of the sky in my image, but nonetheless, I think with the glow that we're getting on these rocks here, it is going to be enough. Ideally, I'd like to have something in the sky for sure, but I can't be totally greedy. Just look at this stunning scene we have and look at the light now as it is bouncing and hitting off all of these. Sun's about to hit the horizon, so I'm going to get ready now to start getting my shots. This is what I've waited now for the last number of hours for. So fingers crossed now I can pull out a shot here because I got my composition, like I said, lined up and I think it works. Now with the light as well hitting it, I think it really starts to lift. I'll do a ordinary fast exposure shot and I'll also put on my uh, ND and I'll do a longer exposure as well, just to smooth out the water and get the trails of the whites as well that are running through. But yeah, this is the point right now where it should all kick off. If it does, I'll check in. And if it doesn't, I'll check in as well. Sunset came and went and we had some clouds right on the horizon that killed the last of the life. But nonetheless, I still think it was nice with the glow that I got on the rocks below. There was no real clouds as well to catch in the sky, so that was a bit of a disappointment. But like I said, I think this whole area here was strong enough as it was. Now it is into blue hour. So Gavin is below me here setting up a blue hour shot. And I said, you know what, be rude not to, I'll do the same as well. So I'm grabbing a shot right now. And uh, as we go into a bit more blue hour, it's just starting right now, we might get a subtle color as well on the horizon, uh, the belt of Venus, which is, you can kind of see behind me here starting to form. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed coming along in this episode. I think it was quite an interesting afternoon. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and if you want to watch another video, I'd recommend this one here. And until the next time, schlange voll.